guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl masani lay and today we are back with another video as you can see um i'm doing my hair or getting ready to this is going to be a voiceover in this video because it was like i started at like 12 o'clock at night or maybe it was like 11 it was like three hours i was doing my hair okay so right now <laughs> i'm talking about <laughs> So, you know how the submarine, it's not funny, the submarine thing fell down or what, whatever happened, it said fell down. And then they put Titanic on Netflix. I'm like, your wallet, period. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And the whole time, like, I would let y'all hear this, but I was literally whispering, so you couldn't even hear anything I was saying. So, in the next clip, I'm starting to prep my hair, take my hair out, and then I'm going to show you guys the products that I have or not all of them but like i was just showing you guys like some of the products that i might be using in my hair so this is the cream of nature leave-in conditioner that i use all the time it's literally almost freaking gone um i use it literally as a base for my hair i know some people put it in like at the end but i put it in right when i first get it this is the olive miracle oil moisturizer and then this is the shine jam that i was debating also as the mousse that i was debating on putting in i ended up putting in the shine jam as a base for my roots and then i have my two gels i was trying to hurry up and use up that eco because i remember when eco was like really popping and then all of a sudden like eco was bad um i just got the, oh my gosh that gel smells so good oh my gosh i don't know who who's that by so i'll just put it up but eco like something happened to eco and like i had like two more bottles left and that's my last bottle of eco so i'm gonna eventually use it all probably for like a ponytail and then this is the cream of nature honey um yeah i'll put that down <laughs> and then this is the growth oil treatment <laughs> oil oh my gosh i am doing too much and then i'm having like a little dance break i put youtube on and i think i'm pretty sure i'm just dancing at her intro song i was not listening to music i ended up putting on a movie and then right here i'm parting my hair my parts suck because i do not see them i literally just part and like use my finger as like a straight line and then i put oil on my scalp um with each part that i do and then after i put on that i had already put in the leave-in conditioner a day prior so this is dry hair um after a 24-hour wash so i'd wash my hair and just let it air dry um I did not detangle my hair. I literally had just put my hair up in two puffs and just said, forget it. And was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my hair this day. And that's exactly what I did. I literally um, had to do the detangling right here, which made the process even longer than I expected. Usually it doesn't take me that long to braid or twist my hair because I usually um, either do it that same day I wash it. So it's easier to detangle or you know i detangle it prior the prior day before i do it so then i put the shine jam all across like my scalp for the base of when i start doing my hair gel on my hair so i put the gel on like the ends and then like the base of my hair and i go all the way up and i don't really show you guys how to braid my braiding is not you know excellent i wouldn't say it's mid though you know it's i can i can braid it, i've been braiding for a couple years so i can braid um so this is me starting the process of braiding my hair So it's so awkward how I walk back and forth while I do my hair. Like I do this with every hairstyle that I do. Okay, period. So I do that and then I do, I did three on the bottom row. So I did those three. But yeah, um, I also add like a little curl at the bottom. Oh, okay. So we did almost half of our head. Yeah, this took me about a couple hours. I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe like two, three hours. 
but the parts weren't actually that bad like like I said I used the um bottom of my edge brush thing and then I used my finger to kind of like fill it out and trace it out and then I just go from there and if it feels straight it feels straight because I hope to have nobody looking at the back of my head but you know somebody's gonna be looking <music> So I'm not gonna lie, I don't use like a specific amount of moisturizer on my hair. Whatever looks nice or whatever feels nice, as long as my hair feels moisturized, that's just how I'm gonna do it. And right here, I'm just straightening up the part because usually when it gets closer to the top of my head, I need it to kind of look a little straight. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just detangling my hair. So technically, you literally do the process over on your entire head. Um, I'm not gonna end up showing you guys like the end like not the end result but like me doing the end because I ended up you know going to sleep and then having to do stuff which I will explain at the end of the video so this is literally half of my hair um you can see some curls left out or like some pieces left out because I um yeah I left some curls out to this is like the boho hairstyle but with natural so then I did the rubber band method at the top as well. I think that was my left side of my hair that I did. And it was currently 1.30 in the morning, period. I just said that. Like I said, I was going to um, take the audio. Wait, hold on, guys. <laughs> so, I mean, I was going to unmute this audio on this video. But like, like I said, I was whispering. So you guys weren't even going to be able to hear me. So right now I put like the gel and then I twist it up so I can put them in a rubber band and um, put them over each other so it's not like a mess because even with having this hairstyle with the rubber band method for a couple days, it ends up getting all like puffy and stuff like that because of my natural hair. But yeah, right now I am trying to put it in the rubber band and I just use the small rubber bands for that. And then right now, so what I do is I braid all of those down. Like after I put the rubber band method up like that, I decide to braid them down. up these four braids and then i'm gonna see y'all in the morning because i am all i have to do is do this and then braid those four down and then do four more in the back and then that's it but the whole head is to be done and plus this side is gonna be more fresh and the edges they're gonna look a little wonky though but you guys what happened um so clearly this is like two or three days after the fact i ended up what are you he is clicking on some random stuff but um the next day that i had woke up i woke up late and then i also had plans that to do stuff and somebody wanted to get me they were like are you ready and i'm like i'm in the bed <laughs> so i was like bro like i gotta rush like it literally i had to get ready within like 
all in all, like pick out an outfit, finish my hair, all of that, less than an hour. So yeah, I ended up finishing it, but clearly like I have like, on this side it was pieces um, to come out and like curl, but I didn't do that on this side. So I'm just gonna keep them both in buns or I'm just gonna do one bun, but like I can't just have it all down like the back because yeah but clearly this is the final product i didn't do my hair today but um yeah honey 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 please sit down but how, you got off of blues clues and then gonna take the remote from me when i'm trying to put blues clues back on but yeah um i hope you guys are very blissful I hope you guys continue to prosper in anything that you're trying to do in life thank you guys for watching I'm out.